You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Now for a look at news making international headlines this Friday, 14th of January. Firefighters worked to put out a massive fire that quickly spread across a commercial building in Adelanto, California on Wednesday afternoon, which resulted in two people being arrested after authorities discovered an illegal marijuana operation. The fire spread to a commercial courtyard with fire crews battling flames and trying to repair downed power lines. The San Bernardino County Fire Department was the lead agency battling the fire with the help from the Apple Valley Fire Protection District in the Victorville Fire Department. A knockdown was reported around 8.27 p.m. A wide fire in South Africa's Claymont, a coastal town in the Overberg region of the Western Cape province, continues to wreak havoc, destroying property and causing widespread damage to vegetation and plantations. The Claymont fire is raging just outside Cape Town, stretching local firefighting resources to their limits. The last estimate that we had was this morning, we we're looking at about 3,700 hectares then of, of fainbos and pine and slash. So far, to my knowledge, one structure has been lost um, and nothing else. So we hope we are able to save all the structures. I, I, I left my city, that settlement. It's a wildfire. Yeah, we saw it in, in two days back, this fire. But they try to, to manage it, but not yet. Yeah, they try to control the fire, but the fire is damaging the, the city now. The winds are not helping, local residents say, and a wind shift will make the extinguishing efforts a lot more difficult. The western side of the area was under threat. A Huawei helicopter is releasing downwater on the fence line. Landowners have joined the efforts to contain the blaze, which has already damaged some of their properties, as well as the forest. The fire has also threatened local golf states and wine farms and jumped the road at many locations as it spreads to other areas. Huge plumes of smoke severely affected visibility, leading to road closures to keep motorists safe. The fire is being fanned by the southeasterly winds that usually arrive in the summertime and make the blaze very difficult to contain. For now, firefighters will continue with their efforts to contain the blaze and are hoping that respected rainfall will assist them. An aerial footage from Isabela Island in the Galapagos, Ecuador, shows the lengthy expansion of lava flowing from Walt Volcano a week after its eruption on January 6. After seven years of relative inactivity, the volcano erupted at midnight last Thursday, causing smoke and ash clouds to rise up to 12,000 feet. Lava flowing from the volcano has covered about 15 kilometers and is moving through the path of past eruptions, said the Ecuadorian Ministry of Environment, Water and Ecological Transition. Ecuador's Environment Minister, Gustavo Manrique, visited the site three days after the eruption and said the lava was less than five kilometers from the coast and flowing far from where wildfire species are primarily located.